What's up you guys? I'm bringing you guys my very first game on PS5. I'm gonna be using a tier 3 team. Because when you play online, you have the opportunity to pick tier 1, tier 2, or tier 3. And tier 3 is the hardest game to win because obviously you're using a team that's not as good as all the other teams. They're at a disadvantage. So I'm starting with tier 3 first. I chose the Wizards. My opponent has Wa- <laughs> I was about to say Washington, my bad. I haven't done a commentary in such a long time. So he has the Mavericks. Luka Doncic with the fadeaway green. So there's a lot of differences that I noticed on next gen compared to uh, PS4 current gen. Look at that spin move by John Wall. One of the differences I notice is that it's <laughs> it's very hard to score with your layups uh, because when you go in the paint on PS4, even if you time it very late, you still have a great chance of making the shot. But on this game on PS5, as you can see here, I got blocked. But a lot of opportunities in this game where I went for a layup with John Wall or other players and I timed it late, I ended up missing the layup. And that's not too fun, especially, look at this right here. I'm right under the basket and I still get stuck into animation. That's still a next gen. That's one thing I really don't like is when you're in the paint, you get sucked into animations. That's why a lot of players when they're under the basket, they don't even attempt to go for a layup. As you can see, I missed a layup right there. It was barely covered, but I just timed it really late. That's one thing I noticed in this game, is when you go for a layup, the meter goes really, really fast. It's extremely hard to time. But then again, it's my very first game on PS5, so don't take what I'm saying too seriously, because it's my first game, so I'm probably going to get used to it after a few games. It takes a lot of adjustments. And my opinions might change after I played 2K21 on next gen much more. Some of my opinions that I'm mentioning right now will probably change. Green Bean with Bradley Beal. So as of right now, after my first game, this is one of my initial impressions, you could say. My first impressions, because I didn't even practice on next gen. I went straight online. Luka Doncic makes a crazy fadeaway three. And it's really hard to score in this game. So as you can see in the first quarter, the score is only 7-7 seven to seven after I make this basket. I mean 7-11. to 11. My video is lagging on Sony Vegas, so I can't really see the score, so I might make some mistakes while I'm commentating. Sorry about that in advance. Uh, Bradley Beal with the midi. I miss. You know what I realized is that after this game, I looked at stats of Bradley Beal, and 2K really disrespected him. His three-point shot is only, I think, 80, and his mid-range shot was like an 82. So during this game, I was like, why is Bradley Beal missing so many shots? I didn't know that his shooting rating was low. I thought it was high. So that is one of the reasons Bradley Beal wasn't making too many shots. Obviously I made some, but I missed a lot of makeable shots. And that was a nice play too. I was using the Portland Trailblazers playbook because in online league I was using some of their plays. So I memorized a few of them. As you can see Bradley Beal greens a shot here as I was complimenting him. So the score is only 17 to 17. Usually on PS4 and after the second quarter on online ranked, the score would be much higher than 17-17. So like I'm saying, the scoreboard is blurred on my Sony Vegas, so I'm not sure if I'm saying the correct score, but it's still a pretty low scoring game is what I'm trying to say. Luka Doncic uses the same move that I did with John Wall. That was a nice move right there. And let me tell you, it's really, really hard to guard Luka Doncic on next gen. Staying in front of him manually, I missed another layup right there. Uh, staying in front of him in this game was really, really scary. Because he's a big point guard, he's handling the ball all the time. He's very strong, he's going to make a lot of strong layups. He could shoot the three, he could run the pick and roll. As the rookie knocks down a three in the corner. So yes, like I'm saying, Luka Doncic is very hard to guard. As you can see, I get fouled. Well, he gets fouled by John Wall. I tried my best to stay in front of him, but it's just really so hard because he has all these badges and he can bump you and get into the paint at will. This is a nice play right here. John Wall, finally. I think that was the only layup John Wall made in this game. Besides that, everything else was a missed layup or when he would decide to dunk the ball, then that would be great. Kali Stein is playing like Shaq. I don't know how 2K made Kali Stein, but... On that play, he was dunking it like Shaq. He does another back-to-back -back drop step. He gets the board. He dunks it like Shaq once again. I don't know, man. Kali Stein ain't like this in real life. So, <laughs> I was surprised when Kali Stein was playing like Shaq in this game. He collapses the defense. Back-to-back -back triples for our rookie. 
So I was surprised I made those shots because I didn't time it correctly, but it still went in. And I get a charging foul right there with John Wall. I didn't even press the charge button. I just guessed correctly. And you got the charge. That's one thing I like about this game is if you play manual defense and you guess correctly where the opposing player is going, then you might get a charge call. I said opposing, I struggled there, it's opposing, right? <laughs> uh, sorry about that, but yeah, that's what I like about this game. Uh, and I, I was jumping like a little monkey here. Look at that, I'm jump, jumping all over the place because Porzingis and Luka Doncic in the pick and roll is dangerous. So I didn't know what he was going to do. I missed another layup right there. If you notice on that play, the defender is behind me. But when, when I went for the layup, he magically got sucked into an animation in front of me. But he was clearly behind me, behind John Wall, and I don't know how he got back in front of me. That's why I took that layup. Because when I was driving, the defender was behind me. But when I went for the layup, he got in front of me somehow with an animation. And now he's killing me with the pick and roll, pick and pop with Luka and Kristaps Porzingis. That's probably one of the most dangerous pick and rolls in the NBA dynamic duo. I'm getting in the paint again. I find Bradley Beal wide open. And that's where I missed the open three in the clutch. That was a huge miss. As you can see, he's going to go back to back with Porzingis. These were killer threes. I'm not losing hope though. But he gets a charge on me. I don't know how because Bra um, Bradley Beal was on the side. And Porzingis was sideways. He wasn't in front of me. But I still got a charge there somehow. As Luka Doncic, like I said earlier in the video, when he gets in the paint, he could bump you and make tough layups. So he was deciding to take over the game and there's nothing I could do. John Wall finally decides to dunk again. Because a lot of times in this game, John Wall was taking weak layups and that was frustrating. I green a three with John Wall. So it's only back to a three point game. So one minute left to go, he does a pick and roll with Doncic. And like I said, I guessed correctly. I was in front of him, but there's nothing I could do there. And this last possession on my end is one of the most frustrating ones. As you can see, I'm going to give it to my center. I pump fake. I'm wide open. And I miss. Like I said, the timing for your layups in the paint goes up so fast. And you're going to miss most of them. <laughs> Man, this was a tough game to lose. But when you got Luka Doncic hitting tough layups and Porzingis hitting threes, it's very hard to win. And if you guys missed my other game, I did a live stream yesterday. It's on my channel, it was Portland Trailblazers against... I was using the Wizards again because I'm trying to win tier 3. If you missed that, check out my channel. So I'll be playing a lot of PS5 online, so if you want to see anything specific, just let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.